You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing WWE Week in Review. Yes. So we're going to change things up a little bit. Rather than do separate Raw and SmackDown reviews, we're just going to combine it into the whole week. Yes. So pretty much Raw, SmackDown, 205 Live, and Mix Match Challenge for two weeks, right? Um, it's got two more weeks. Oh, um... Well, there's one, one more semifinal, and mm-hmm. then the and then the finals. Yeah. yeah. So yes. So, two. so yeah. So start us off with, well, your overall feelings for wrestling this week. Um, actually, both shows are pretty good. Um, Raw. Actually, I think SmackDown might have been better than Raw this week. Uh, I don't know. I was a big fan of how Raw ended. Really? Because at first, when that was announced, I'm like, oh, that's terrible. But they made up for it well they did yeah however um, it was an odd way to end a show oh yeah. this close to wrestlemania anyway it, it's true um but no, i'm gonna but, i'm gonna say raw is probably still better but they originally said that ronda was going to be at every raw leading up till wrestlemania mm-hmm. and then they removed the article from wwe.com and then they put it back up today so apparently now she's going to be at every every one so the next, next three week. yeah yeah, the next three, exactly. Okay. Well, originally, after they took the article down, it was claimed that she was only going to be at the go-home show, which uh, would have been, I mean, what are they, fine. just going to keep playing all the same clip over say, and over? I it's not like she's done anything interesting. Yeah. I think she was on, what, Ellen this week, I think they Yeah, said. I think that was their reasoning yeah. for her not being there, yeah. which is fine. It doesn't it, it doesn't, it wasn't necessary. It makes no difference. No, no. Um, but yeah. But yeah, I, I, I would say that Raw was still... Slightly better. Uh, all right, you know what? My expectations were so low for SmackDown, so that's fair. It was Raw was still definitely better. That's that's fair. Um, I mean, eh, they're really trying here. For what? They're trying everything to put Roman over. Well, that, you know that that's not even. <laughs> that, and then we had to see that son of a bitch on Monday night. We saw him Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Shane. Oh, I'm like, who are you talking about? Because uh, at first I thought you meant Cena, but I'm like, Cena wasn't on SmackDown. No. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So uh, the show opens, mm-hmm. and uh, Kurt Angle comes out. Yep. He, he says that, I lo- I'm, I'm glad that, uh, or I'm, I'm happy to see that Ronda's on my on the same page as me or something like that. Mm-hmm. And we're teaming up against Stephanie and, and uh, Triple H. Yeah. And then he's like, and now on to bad news, I have to inform you that Brock Lesnar, surprise, will not be here today. <laughs> so I think pretty much everyone figured that was going to happen. Yeah. Um, I guess he's, I, he had a certain amount of dates that he was scheduled for, and I guess he was never scheduled for any of these dates. Well, either, no, I'm, I'm, either yeah. that or they only they never planned on having or they just told him to stay home yeah. if they, he was supposed to be there. I don't know, know. cuz he's been working a couple house shows recently. Yeah. yeah. And and upsetting the crowds at yes. said house shows. When he beat Kane in 30 seconds and then beat the entire Miz Tourage, I think. Oh, or I, beat I Miz in like 30 one. or yeah. a minute or two and then beat yeah. the, beat up the entire Miz Tourage, uh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, mm-hmm. um yeah, the the whole idea behind this is to get everyone to hate Lesnar so that they cheer Roman. It's going to backfire. Yeah, it's not going to work, at the very least. No, uh, but you're keeping Lesnar away from the people, and then, you know, obviously you're, you're making it seem that Lesnar doesn't care about them, mm-hmm. which Vince said, and I think it's just going to backfire on him, and once he shows up, everybody's going to be like, yay. Yeah, we'll see. Hey, all right, just well, let's run through it. Then. Yeah, um, Roman comes out. Mm-hmm. He's like, "I'm tired of this. Uh, this is the way I have to find out that he's not going to be mm-hmm. here." What would happen if you guys didn't show up to work? You'd be fired. What happened to me? He's Same trying to re- he's trying to relate to the people. Mm-hmm. Um, but then he goes, "Like it's one thing for Lesnar not to respect me, but for Vince not to respect me, this is ridiculous." Even though you think it'd be the other way around. Well, okay. you know. Um, oh, and then he did call Lesnar Vince's boy. He did. Which I think it's the other way around. Which is pretty funny, yeah. Um, well, I mean, I think Vince is Lesnar's boy, too, because he... Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Sure, sure, whatever whatever you want, Mr. Lesnar. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Which he did say he does have special privileges. Yeah. So. Um, anyway. Mm -hmm. So Roman then goes to the back. They go into Gorilla mm -hmm. and Shane sit next to Vince. Son of a bitch. I'm like, why is he there? He's <laughs> supposed to be on SmackDown. Um, Which is funny because Kevin Owens tweeted out. He said, oh, look, everybody besides Shane is at the SmackDown uh, live event tonight. I wonder why you're there and not with us. And it was just <laughs> just Kevin Owens being himself. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then somebody else said when they had, because Roman goes into the back, and I forget what he said to Vince exactly. But he was, just wasn't happy. Yeah, and then Shane kind of got in the middle, and <laughs> somebody wrote, yeah, don't piss Shane off. He's going to pull you out during your match when you're pinning <laughs> Brock Lesnar. <laughs> ah, good stuff. Yeah. Um, so Vince is like, we'll talk in my office. Then they go to his office. Mm. They cut back from commercial. Renee Young standing outside. I was asked to sit out here and wait. <laughs> um, so she, uh, Roman comes out, doesn't say anything, just walks away. Mm -hmm. Vince comes out, speaks for a very, very long time mm -hmm. about how Brock Lesnar has special privilege, privileges and um, Roman needs to take some advice from his, his cousin, cousin, The mm -hmm. Rock. Know your role and shut your mouth. Yes, so they're really driving home the... Let's let's give Roman things to... to <laughs> let's to relate like him to other things. Because yeah. um, um, he's he's feuding with the authority, so mm -hmm. he's like Austin. Mm -hmm. He's cousins of The Rock. Um, he's got a, he's got a, a an opponent that everyone needs to hate. Mm -hmm. So it, it it's funny because... The biggest problem is because they're trying too hard. Right, right. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is just an easy solution. Superstar shakeup, put him with the Usos. Good work. He, he doesn't need to be a heel or a face because that's the problem. Mm. Roman should be your tweener guy. Well, he kind of he, he acts he, like one. He, exactly, but they're pushing him as a face. I guess, but if you're having... Because Brock Lesnar is traditionally a heel. Right. So, technically speaking, a tweener going against the heel yeah. is by default a face. Right. So that kind of, but yeah, fair enough. Either way, yeah. Um, but and then Vince says that Lesnar will be at Raw next week. He guarantees it, right, or something. Along yeah, he those said lines. that, but yeah. it doesn't mean it's true. No. And then he said Roman Reigns was suspended. Yes, didn't but we say don't for know how, how long. long. So he could miss the next few weeks. So AKA he could be back next week. Lesnar's going to show up. And they want Reigns to break his suspension and attack Lesnar well, and get yeah. the big cheer from the crowd. Yeah, which... basically. So if Lesnar does indeed show up next week, that just means Roman's going to come back when yeah. he's not supposed to. And when the suspension was announced, the crowd was very happy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. But what are you going to do? It's true. So then we have our first match of the night, Sasha Banks versus Sonya Deville. Yeah. Um, so Bailey came out with Sasha. For some unknown reason. Well, Sasha, I guess, asked her to come. It's, they didn't say they, that. Yeah, I guess. But, but the <laughs> fact that she, like, it's not like Bailey just showed up. No, she but was she was just her. kind of moping behind her. Oh, no, her. She, it's like, she was not. What, what was your reasoning? Just stay in the back. You don't need to come out. Yeah. Well, like I said, I think Sasha insisted, yeah. mm -hmm. or I'm assuming that's what they were going for. Yeah. Um, so, largely, there was no outside interference in mm -hmm. this match until the very end. Right. Uh, Mandy jumps on the apron to distract um sasha uh bailey pulls her off the apron yep. um sonia is distracted by mandy getting pulled off yep. for whatever and reason banks hits the bank statement and well she taps her out yep and then bailey leaves and absolution attacks yep so there's yeah. that yep that was that was it that she was just that. let her get beat down yeah and uh so oh, yeah and then we got the announcement that kid rock was going to be inducted into the hall of fame yay yeah um, we had all, we kind of discussed this. Uh, as strange as it might sound, he probably is more fitting to be in the Hall of Fame than some of the other people. <laughs> well, that yeah, are he has in had more. Um, he's he's performed for yeah, them yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. on like pay per views and stuff. That's true. So, and he was the voice of the Undertaker for mm -hmm. quite a few years. Yeah, um, sure. Well. Yeah, there's a few years. Yeah, 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 yeah. something like that. Um, and then, uh, but yeah. I, th I think that people think that he's going to do something. You know that, no, 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 I think about it. Undertaker I'm comes back. No, and, I'm uh, wrong. I was thinking Limp Biscuit. Oh, oh, yeah, but I thought he did do Hit something. Hit Rock did yeah. his original 
Dead Man mm -hmm. song. But that only lasted for a few months, I think. Oh, uh, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, no, I thought yeah. Roland was around for a while. Roland was around for a long time. Yeah. But that was, that was the second one. Oh, okay. The first one was a different one. Yeah. That was the Kid Rock one. The one that I didn't like. Okay. So. Well, there you go. Anyway. Yep. Um, we got Ms. TV. Yes. With his special guests, Seth Rollins and Finn Balor. No Ms. Taraj, though. No. They have a match they, they later were on. preparing for their match tonight. Yeah. They were main eventing Raw. <laughs> no, they, he just had a match later on. Oh, I know, but I'm just saying. They well, were, they did, yeah. yes, yeah. but. Um, but, yeah, this was basically the Miz trying to pit them. Well, technically he did do it. Mm -hmm. He uh, pitting them against each other. And at first, he started with Seth, and then Seth knew what he was doing, and then mm -hmm. he went over to Finn, and Finn was like, you think that's going to work on me? You just did it to Seth. <laughs> so, and then the two start bickering back and forth, and Finn says, you know, I beat you once, I could beat you again, so then we get a match uh, later on tonight. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, going to yeah. say, we get a challenge for a match. Right, right. But I think, did, did they make it then and there, or was it just... Um, they, they, I guess Ron's accepted it. Yeah. Um. Miz was all excited because his plan kind of worked. Mm -hmm. um, and then they both attacked him because yes. every Miz TV segment pretty much ends, ends with, with Miz getting peed up. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then Seth hits Finn and mm -hmm. then he leaves. Yep. So, uh, yeah. Coming up or up next. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah. Well, that this makes sets more up. Sense. Yeah. The main yeah. event. Ah, I so, gotcha. <laughs> so it's another string or another. Um, Another case of having the tag team champions face a team to earn the right to face the tag team champions. Yeah, there you go. Um, we got the bar against the Miz Taraj, mm -hmm. who apparently earned it just because they hung out with the Miz. Yeah. Um, so while the bar is making their entrance, um, they get jumped. Oh, yeah, by, Kurt, uh, by, by Axel, Axel and, and, yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Axel and uh, Dallas. Dallas, yeah. And then... The revival come out. They mm -hmm. start beating them up too. Yep, and, and then, then eventually the club comes out. And the club, and then the rest of the tag teams. Yeah, so it was basically just a beat down on um, Sheamus and Cesaro. The bar. Yep, but and they 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 barely escape with their lives. I think Cesaro threw the through the crowd, and Sheamus went yeah. up the ramp. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So uh, so yeah. Yep. And then we got John Cena. Coming out. This is what makes this episode overall better. It, it was good. Yeah, yeah. Because um, Cena you know, was kind of saying that he has found his road to WrestleMania. Mm -hmm. He's going to go as a fan. Yeah. He's going to hang out his, in the crowd. Yep, buy his ticket and everything. Yep. He actually went out into the crowd and yeah. uh, had a sip of some guy's beer. Yeah. He's which probably is funny. He took the sick. smallest sip. <laughs> well, because he knows that it's not the smartest thing to do. Especially from that guy. Yeah, he's trying to be relatable. That's yeah. what he was trying to yeah. do. So, he does that, and he's like... Him in his neon green shirt. Yeah, well, his jort. Yeah. And he's like, well, now that I think about it, I guess it really couldn't hurt to do this one crazy thing that yeah. I wanted to try. They told me not to do it. I was Yeah. Well, yeah. they told me it couldn't happen. It couldn't happen, right. But... I'm going to do it. Anyway. I figure I got nothing to lose. Mm -hmm. He's like, I challenge The Undertaker to mm -hmm. a match at... At WrestleMania. Yeah. And he's like, this has nothing to do with backstage telling me that I can't do it. It's well, The Undertaker. Yeah, because he proved it by repeatedly mm -hmm. challenging him, and his mic wasn't cut off. Yeah. So if his mic got cut off, obviously it was them who mm -hmm. didn't want. But the moral of the story is Undertaker, I guess, doesn't want to have the match, and John Cena does, I yeah. guess. And, and, then... and he also said that if... Um, if you're too old and decrepit to have another match, then why White is your post. wife <laughs> posting Instagram photos of you working out? Yeah. Yeah. So. But it was, it was a very good, mm -hmm. very good segment. Yeah. He got the crowd all over the place. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were hyped up. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's yeah. just. I mean, I wonder how they're going to do this. Is Cena going to come out in another week or two and call him out? Um, and then wait till the go home show for The Undertaker to come out? What I was either thinking is either A, that we don't see Cena until the week before, mm -hmm. and then something happens, or he does comes out every week or the next three weeks and only, like you said, yeah. have something happen the week before. Or does nothing happen when we get to WrestleMania? Somebody says The Undertaker is here and you see John Cena looking throughout the arena for The Undertaker the whole night. Demon, Demon <laughs> Kane? Where are you, Demon <laughs> Kane? Oh, God. That was bad. It was bad. <laughs> it was so bad. 
Oh, man. And then we got the bar backstage complaining to Angle about what had taken place. Uh And they say their treatment is unfair on Raw and want to be traded to SmackDown. Yes. Well, they'll be appreciated. Yes. Which, you know. You know how that goes. Well, the, the, the tag, tag team. team division on SmackDown is usually the only good part well, about it. Yeah. So, um, Angle says, I will not be trading you to SmackDown. Don't mm-hmm. care what you want. <laughs> yep. And, and then he's it's like, we'll have a battle royal to ter- determine your number one contenders. Yeah. And at this point, I go, why? Yeah. Because so you faced every team. The whole point of this was that you've beaten everybody on yeah, Raw. There's no legitimate teams <laughs> on here. So I'm like, what is the point of doing this? Yeah. Uh, and then up next, they they play a Symphony of Destruction from the week before. Mm-hmm. Basically, uh, a recap, I should say, um, of Braun beating the crap out of Elias. Yeah, they had nothing um, here. And then Elias comes out to the ring with a neck brace. Mm-hmm. He says, I have one question. And then he says, this is all your fault. And then he just leaves. <laughs> leaves. That was all we saw of Elias. Yeah. Um, and then they have a backstage promo with Braun. Mm-hmm. Um, and he says that it's it's a travesty that I'm not on the WrestleMania card. Um, and he's like, I'm going to make my own path. And by the end of the night, everyone's going to get these hands. hands. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. And then we got the Seth versus Finn match. Mm-hmm. Um, not a surprise here that they put on a decent match. Yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't overly long because, well, it was kind of meant to be a surprise finish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, Seth had Finn set up for a superplex, hits the superplex, yeah. and Cause Finn used Seth's momentum to roll him up after they hit the ground. Yeah, because normally what Seth does is he hits the superplex. And the Falcon and it, Arrow, yes. yeah. But instead of doing that, he gets rolled up by mm-hmm. Finn. And uh, Finn wins. Yeah. Not a huge surprise. No, it could go either way with Yeah. Finn. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, here's the first Fantastic Woman segment. Yeah. Well, that's not... No, I mean in this trio of segments. Yeah, it's true. Um, so Asuka comes out and uh, is interviewed about her choice for choosing Charlotte as an opponent at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Um, but before before she uh, is able to answer, Alexa Bliss and Mickey James come out. Yep. Um, and Alexa decides to answer for her, basically, and saying that she's smart for picking Charlotte mm-hmm. because she knows that um, she can't beat her and uh, that Charlotte is only just the champion of the B, B show. show. Yep. Um, I mean, yeah. not wrong, but... Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> um, and then Asuka says that to... To be the woman, you need to beat the woman. And that was good, because that was all Asuka needed to say. Yeah. And then we got started with the language barrier nonsense. and Well, it's not even necessarily that that was the problem. It's just the fans suck. No, no, no. Alexa said that. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You're talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. what Alexa was yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. I thought I, you meant the crowd was... No, uh, they're a bunch I, of idiots. I don't... Yeah. I, I Any, know. Anytime we hear what during these segments, yeah. I'm like, what is wrong with these people? Yeah. Um, but it's just just unnecessary. It's true. It's it's not needed. They're trying to make um Alexa super heel, right? Because the problem is that people like her too much. Yes. So, but the thing is, is that people will continue to like her and then think these things are okay. It's true. And it's continue, bad. and then it gets even worse. It's in true. The two segments later, but um, yeah. I mean, I I, I understand the, probably the frustration. Because some of the foreign competitors, if they don't have that, you know, English as their first language, they don't necessarily have to work on promos, you know, and things like that. I mean, I'm sure they're trying and, and things mm-hmm. like that. Well, but it's, it's, not... it's very clear that Shinsuke and Oscar are trying. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 absolutely. But they're not thrown into it every week yeah. where they have to go out there and cut a huge true. promo. So. But in all fairness, that's Alexa's strength. Oh, absolutely. So she has no, she wouldn't oh, have yeah, yeah, any no. reason to be upset about it. Regardless of what crappy writing they give her, she always can, yeah. the can only, pull it the off. The only thing that she's done that hasn't landed was that Bailey, this is your life thing. But that was not her fault. No. That's just this, bad. This, this, was, this was a close second. Yeah. Um, not this segment, but the one later on. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, Asuka challenges her to a match, but she's like, I'm not going to face mm-hmm. you, but she, she will. will. Pointing at the entrance. Mm-hmm. Um, and I guess she expected Nia right. Jax to come. Yep. Um, no one comes. Mm-mm. And then Mickey just attacks Asuka. 
Yep. And, and then, then we would we go get... to commercial, right? And then we came yeah. back, and the match had started between yeah. Mickey and Asuka. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, they put on a good match here. Oh, yeah. It yeah, wasn't, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't yeah. bad. Um, for some reason, Asuka went for a kick on the outside to Mickey. She hits her foot on the, on the ring post. So now her... Uh, streak is in jeopardy and they're making big stink about it yep because her foot was or they kept on saying that her leg was hurt mm -hmm. even though she yep. kicked the kicked ring post. post yeah <laughs> yeah uh, but eventually yeah action goes back into the ring oscar gets mickey to tap out to the oscar lock mm -hmm. so obviously not a surprise not a surprise then we go backstage and alexa meets up with naya and says well what happened to you why weren't you out there or why didn't you come out there and she said well kurt angle wanted me to get ready or i have a match up next so kurt told me to just get ready for that yeah uh, and here we go well yeah we have to get through the squash match first yeah that's true uh, yeah naya but naya had a squash match that's <laughs> yeah. it <laughs> It's just weird that they would go back to this, but I mean, I no, guess the, it was the meant whole reason was for the this, segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah there no, was I no know. reason for her to have the squash match except for that. That's true. So Nia wins, and then I guess they had mentioned that Alexa was supposed to have an interview after the match. Mm -hmm. um, uh, yeah, about her match with Oscar next week. Yeah. Um, so Alexa and Mickey are sitting in the in the dressing room, I mm -hmm. guess, um, and they're talking about yep. giant uh, boom mic standing right there yeah, next to him. Yes. <laughs> Um, and they're talking about um, Naya and making fun of her for her size. Mm -hmm. And she's like, she's lucky to uh, have friends like us and yeah. stuff like that. Well, yeah, because first Mickey started out by saying, you know, I can't believe all those things you said to her last week. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, Alexa was just talking about how she uses her because of her low self-esteem. And then yeah. obviously, like you said, and she called her Shrek at one point, carrying her bags behind her at the airport. Yep. All you had to say was, you know. But you didn't really need to say anything. No, but she, I mean, this this segment was absolutely not necessary. No, because no, 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 it, it, it does set them up for for a match. But they didn't need to do this. No, not yeah, this, not to this the is, extent she could have just said that you know I I'm using Nia as you know yeah, yeah because well, she's a nice person yeah. and she'll do anything for me because the bullying aspect is just not in good taste. No, Again, it seems like their goal is to get people to stop liking alexa so much i, I guess that's extremely it extremely hard to do and to put naya over as a face because obviously you felt for naya in the, the segment yeah that, which that <laughs> which is what that was completed for. yeah absolutely um, but i mean it's honestly not the first or probably last time that wwe has used an angle like this i well, mean how many times have we heard it about kevin owens too well he, well that's never been on really. yeah aj they had, I mean, I know it wasn't not, as blatant as It's not as, as bad with him. Yes. Um, but it just seems like they have such a hard time writing for women. It's true. Like, And they've done a lot of really bad things. Yeah. I mean, like, like I think somebody brought it up um, that, you know, you have Braun, who's much bigger than everybody or whatever. Nobody teased him about his weight or anything. You're it's because size. they're afraid of him. Oh, I know. But you would think the women would be the same way. It's true. But, you know, in, in all fairness, there are girls who are not quite nice like that anyway it's true and i believe she had dealt with some of it actually in the company i think there was there um, i was... believe alexa did yeah no well, no i'm at naya dealing no her with... too but oh, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. i think oh. i heard alexa as well uh, yeah i mean her a lot of her stories with what she had grown up with you know the expectations of her and things like that kind yeah. of threw her life for a loop but you know um yeah no i'm just it's just weird. Yeah. It, it, unnecessary. Um, I would like to think that the reason why uh, the three of them, Alexa, Mickey, and Naya, were okay with this happening is because they have a long-term plan for, obviously, mm -hmm. Alexa's going to get hers in the end, and it's going to empower right like naya yeah but, which would be the goal again like i said you know you have people somebody that they there's kids that look up to alexa and things yeah. like that yeah. and you know you th you hear some an idol of yours or whatever saying something like this you, then you think it's all right yeah i mean that's just kids they're very impressionable so it's true um just poor taste yeah but what are you gonna do no not much what's that you know i mean I, <laughs> and to be fair they got what they wanted to they, across. They, they that's, did accomplish. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah they exactly. They did accomplish what they were going for. Yeah. So, but. Oh, well. Yep. Yep. So, yep. Uh, up next, yeah. we have a preview for the ultimate deletion. Which is going to take place next week on yes. Raw. 
which is a little surprising, but I guess it'll lead to something happening in yeah. Mania. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess it really does make more sense for this to happen mm-hmm. on TV. Um, basically, it looks almost as if they took footage from the TNA's um, final deletion mm-hmm. uh, videos and just did it again. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the same stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, they had in- introduced King Maxel. Um, they Senor Benjamin. Senor right? Benjamin. Yeah. Um, Vanguard One. <laughs> um yeah so it, it, was, it was all the crazy kooky stuff like that yeah. they obviously just changed a couple of names and stuff like the name of the actual match and blah blah, blah. right right um and then matt says prepare for for deletion yep. and then uh bray comes on the screen he goes you're crazy matt you're crazy <laughs> Um, and then he so does says, that mean Matt Matt has won just because he got Bray to I guess, think that I somebody was crazier than he is? Um, but yeah, Bray says he's ready for his match. Blah blah blah, and that's it. Yeah, there's nothing. Should be interesting. Um, <laughs> and then after it, they cut to uh, they cut to Kurt Angle on the back. He's like, I knew that Bray was nuts, but what happened to Matt? <laughs> <laughs> and then he calls a referee over. Oh he's right, like, right. I hate to do this to you, <laughs> but I need a referee to go to that match. And I can't remember which referee it was. Um, but he's like, did I do something wrong? <laughs> She's like, no, no, I no. I somebody just... there to count the three count. Yeah. And uh, so that was, that was it. Um, I believe it, at some point around this time, they announced the uh, Fabulous Moolah uh, Battle Royal. Yeah. So basically it's just the uh, Battle Royal for the women now yeah um there'll be a bunch of nxt call-ups yeah they said all it was all three brands yeah so there'll be there'll be several nxt people obviously whoever doesn't have a match Mm -hmm. um on raw and smackdown i doubt it's gonna be 30 i'll probably be 20 yeah probably something like that um but yeah well we won't even get into the whole oh yeah that's fabulous mola thing i mean just just the it's been beaten into the ground if you want to find information about mola you can just google it yeah so uh and then uh we go to our main event yeah the the thing that i didn't really want to see until it happened well it wasn't it was just an odd way to end zero interest in it even if it happened like in the middle of the show or the beginning you would have i mean rather than a main event you know oh yeah no it would have been better not to have yeah but it made sense why they did yeah so um you got all the tag teams he's Mm -hmm. slayed and rhino the the revival um the club uh titus worldwide yep. and the Miz Taraj. i yep. think that was the 10 and then the we bar got... come out and they're on commentary yeah Man. and then it looks like the match is about to start and then all of a sudden we get <laughs> bro so yep. Braun comes out and decides to enter himself into the <laughs> Braun, you can't be in this match ring the bell yeah so um <laughs> So Braun wins the yeah. Battle Royal. Uh, he, so uh, he is now the number one contender to the Tag Team Champions. Yep. I mean, they did a decent job with the match. Cause... Oh, yeah, it was very entertaining. <laughs> there was a lot of going out the middle ropes. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know what happened to Coach during this match, but... Uh, he lost his mind. The brain <laughs> fell out of his head. It was pretty bad. Oh, what's Rhino doing in the ring? Rhino was the first one eliminated. That yeah. was That's Curtis. I mean, uh, that's Bo Dallas. Yeah, I can't tell the difference between the two of them. Uh, Although they do look, obviously, Bo is much slimmer. Mm-hmm. They're not as shiny. From the back, they do look very similar. So because they wear the same exact, pretty much. Just, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they both have long black yep. hair. So Carl Anderson was the last one left in with. Braun oh my Strowman. god, it was great. He <laughs> got a bunch of kicks in, <laughs> and then he w- wound up for the uh, the super. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. And then he got thrown into everybody else standing outside the mm-hmm. ring. That was a good way to end the I show. I think Corey said something about like the record for long distance human <laughs> throwing or something like oh, that. Oh, man. Yeah, no, it was a definitely an interesting way to end Raw. I yeah, mean, and now Braun has a path to WrestleMania. Yeah. Which is good to hear. Which I, So I guess they're confident in the main event happening. Well, Roman versus Brock. Where, um, yeah. but granted, who cares? Braun could just come out there, destroy the bar, and if they needed him in the yeah, other match, yeah, absolutely. Like, give him all the belts. Exactly. Have <sighs> have that picture that they made of Roman. Just have it with Braun. Yep. And everybody'd be happy about it. 
Yeah. All right. So, moving on. To the B Show. Yeah, which uh, started off pretty strong. Well, you know, we had a good opening match, mm-hmm. that's for sure. Um, so, uh, you want to you wanna get this one mm-hmm. started? I guess. Okay. Yes. Well, we open the show with AJ Styles, which is always a good way to open the show. Mm-hmm. Um, and he comes out and talks about Fastlane, obviously, the odds stacked against him. And he won, and he will be facing Shinsuke at WrestleMania. Yes. Which leads Shinsuke to come out. And he. this was perfect. They kept it nice and short. And he basically said that dreams do come true. And at Mania, he's going to win with a knee to the face. Yes. And... It's funny how how annoyed AJ gets about when he says when he's going to win. <laughs> well, I mean it's it's simple and uh to the point. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Uh-huh. And then right after they were kind of exchanging back and forth or this little bit of exchange, yeah. uh Rusev comes out. Mm-hmm. And that's how we open the show with uh AJ Styles versus Rusev. Uh again, good way to open the show. Yeah, it's true. Um everyone loves some Rusev. Mhm. Um just like the night before, there's a, a split crowd, which is always good to see. Yeah. Because it's, it's a lot more fun when you have. Like, oh, the you crowd know what? We, we forgot to mention during Raw with the. Uh, what was it? Asuka and Mickey James, where the idiots were chanting CM Punk oh, and yeah. Rusev Day. Now, is it that Rusev is that over, or do they just like chants? They just I, like chants. I, I feel like that's, that's a um, part of it. Yeah. I think that they are firmly behind Rusev. Right. But, but I think they like to chant when they don't it's like just what like, they see. It's just like the 10 chants. Yeah. Like when somebody's They're counting. Being obnoxious. Can, yeah, exactly. Um, also, with two counts, they do the two sweet thing. Mm-hmm. That's annoying, too. Yeah. Um, but they just do it because they think That one's not that annoying. It's, it really it's does. Pretty, it's pretty annoying. Either way. Um, Fair enough. Yeah. So, uh, But, you yeah, know, they put on a, a good match. Mm-hmm. Which obviously isn't a surprise. It's good to see Rusev in there against some top competitors. Yeah, some some real competition. Yeah, even if he loses, it's true. Um, Although he 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 did lose by disqualification instead it's true. of losing clean. Mm-hmm. So, um, but yeah, no. It, uh, AJ had was setting him up for a Styles clash, mm-hmm. and then uh, when Rusev fall out of it, right? Well, I think uh, AJ's leg had hurt because he like fell. I thought that was a. Diff- oh yeah yeah no, that's right yeah yeah um, so his leg was bothering him so he couldn't hold rusev because mm-hmm. rusev so, is a big dude. right so he started to put him into the calf crusher but rusev grabbed the rope and then aj started i think kicking his arm right and then rolled back and put him in the calf crusher yes, yes, in yes, the middle yes. of the ring and that's when aiden english came in and broke it up yeah and this was one of my favorite parts so you have Rusev and Aiden beating up AJ, and Shinsuke just slowly gets up out of his chair. <laughs> but the crowd was like on every move that Shinsuke made because you saw everybody just get up out of their seats and keep their eyes glued to Shinsuke. Yeah. He and it gets up, unzips his shirt, and then gets in the ring and takes out uh, Rusev and um, Aiden, right? And yeah. And they left, and mm-hmm. that was it. I, was, I just thought it was. I, I, it, I liked it was a it. good way because obviously. Uh, Shinsuke is tentative about helping his mm-hmm. opponent. Right. So it kind of like, yeah, I guess I'll do the right thing. Yeah. And at least they just had him sit next to commentary Instead rather of being than on yeah. commentary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a good call. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, this segment was really good too. Oh, yeah. Um, the dynamic is great between. Well, they have a good story, too. It's true. Well, it's been, also been going on for a while, It's too. true. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, their match... Oh, all right. Well, we'll get into the segment. Well, <laughs> uh, but, but actually, before we start, the idea of having stories that take place over long periods of time with breaks in between is always nice mm-hmm. because you remember. Right. And then you're adding different elements yeah. in, too. It's not the same old, same mm-hmm. old. So it, it doesn't happen very often mm-hmm. where it, they keep it fresh by re, by revisiting mm-hmm. stuff. Yep. Um, obviously, we're talking about the tag team, uh, I guess, storyline going yeah, on right after now. after what had happened at Fastlane with the Bludgeon Brothers destroying the Usos in the New Day during their match. Yeah. So uh, Biggie's walking backstage, mm-hmm. and he is asked by, I believe, Renee Young um, about his challenge for uh, the Bludgeon Brothers. Because he was the only one who survived from the New Day. Mm-hmm. And he says that... Um, all right, no, actually... Oh, okay, no, no, no. The Bludgeon Brothers challenged whoever was left standing. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then Big E says that he's going to represent the New Day. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's going to 
make them pay for what he did to his brothers. Um, and then Jimmy comes over, Jimmy Uso, mm -hmm. and he's like, I'm still standing too, so we're going to do this together. Yeah. And then the two of them walk to the ring. Yeah, because, you know, their whole match just took place because, well, I think the New Day won a match, right? The number one contenders match yes. anyway. And uh, their history ended, you know, their ma last match was ended on, you know, respecting each other. So mm -hmm. it wasn't like there was any bad blood between the teams. But now they have a new uh, uh, opponent, so they have to team up. Yeah. So it's but, a good dynamic. Yeah, no, absolutely. And the idea of having two two tag teams or t one person from each tag team team together is mm -hmm. pretty cool. Yeah. Um, we have AJ backstage. Uh, Shinsuke walks up and AJ says, I didn't need your help out there. And Shinsuke was like, it looked like you did. And I'll continue to help you until Mania, where I'll win with a knee to the face. Yes. <laughs> so <laughs> apparently Shinsuke will be AJ's guardian angel for mm -hmm. the next few weeks. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we got a tag match next week with the I two of them. I guarantee it's yeah. going to I honestly happen. thought that was going to be the main event uh, last I, night. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I, for sure it's going to happen. So before we get any further, you think they're going to put the title on Shinsuke? Um, it's hard to say because Roman's obviously going to win. So how many titles do you really want to change hands? It's true, and Oscar's probably Oscar's going to win. Um, there's a good chance Alexa's going to lose her title. Mm -hmm. Um, Braun's probably Braun's going, going to win. <laughs> the Miz is going to have a baby, so he's probably going to drop the title at least for the time being. But you said but that he's the, going for that record, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter though because you could always win it again. That's true. I think this could just be yeah, a, a just swerve, cumulative, right? Yeah, that yeah, was it. Yeah, because he's only had the title for like three weeks now. Oh yeah, that's and right. He yeah, won yeah. it back at the end of January. Um, so actually, it'd be a little over. Yeah, yeah but I don't know, um, so he's gonna lose his title probably. Mm -hmm. Orton's not losing his title. No, um, the Usos probably might retain. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be a lot of titles changing hands. Yeah. This we'll, we'll would be a, a safe champion. one. Well, obviously. <laughs> um, this will be a safe one to keep for the time being, and they could have Shinsuke win it at a rematch mm -hmm. at the next pay-per-view. Yeah. Because, you know, that would be a good good thing to do. But then again, you know, they could. Uh, I don't know, because I think that supposedly AJ's supposed to retire after next year's WrestleMania. Yeah, I heard that. I don't know if that was necessarily true. I knew he. I heard there, there was, was speculation. speculation. Yeah. Um. So I think they think Shinsuke might have more years left mm -hmm. in him. So they give AJ this one, and then Shinsuke it's can true. have his at another point in time. Yeah. Or, you know, AJ does wins because that's what they want to do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. That that one might be the hardest one to, to choose. Just, yeah, of all the matches. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyway. Yep. So uh, we had this tag match with yeah. uh, Jimmy Jimmy Uso and Biggie versus the Bludgeon Brothers. Yeah. Um, Biggie and Jimmy they jump the Bludgeon Brothers before they can finish their entrance. They're in the process of disrobing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um. So they get in the ring. The Bludgeon Brothers get in the ring, and then. Jimmy and Big E go out and get chairs. chairs. They go in the ring. Uh, the Bludgeon Brothers grab their hammers, and then they kind of swing at each other. And Hammers and, won, apparently. Yeah, and then, well, eventually all the weapons fell to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, um, and uh, but yeah. yeah, the Bludgeon Brothers basically just destroy oh, yeah. them for... I can't say for whatever reason, no. but this is just an odd. Well, it's it's hard to build somebody up as this strong when they've been with the company for so long. Oh yeah, long they're, and... they're not new faces. Right, right. So. It's not like you know when uh, with the uh, the hell's their name, authors of pain. Oh like yeah, when they're new faces, uh -huh. and you can just build them up as unstoppable exactly. forces. You know. Yep. But like you, you're not too fond of the gimmick, right? Well, it's too cartoony. Yeah. In my opinion. I get they, it. They could have brought him back just as Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, and it would have felt less forced. Does yeah. Make sense? Yeah. Because, I mean, they're not, they're not repackaged. They're still Harper and Rowan. Right. But now they carry plastic hammers. I think they're rubber, but whatever. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, and they wear weird robes, and they did those really well, the bad thing is, promos. Is they were yes. fighting each other before they yes. had gone away. because well, they were trying to kill time. Right, but, I mean, he, 
you you need some sort of story as to why they got back together. Yeah, and the, <laughs> putting them together as Bludgeon Brothers is not not. Eh, the, it's weird. So, but whatever. Yeah. Um, then we go backstage, and Renee is interviewing Sammy. And see, she asks him who's to blame for his loss at Fastlane, and then he blames Kevin Owens because, of course, uh, basically Kevin Owens and uh, Shane McMahon's feud was uh well shane's obsession with owens right yes. yeah is what really cost it because mm-hmm. owens keeps on poking the bear mm-hmm. um and but he says he's learned and he will never pay that price again yes he's so. not going to let anyone cost him nope. ever again that was a good promo by sammy oh yeah he's he's done a lot of uh intense stuff yeah, lately. yeah no this is if if anything this has definitely elevated him mm-hmm. if if that's you know <laughs> Net needed or, um, a little bit. Or you mean if, if that was anything that we got out yeah, of, exactly. out of this? Yes, yeah. yeah. It's true. Yeah. Oh, I, I think yeah. it just said that Owens was proving himself, uh, already proved himself as a, a main event guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah no, 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 that was pretty much it. Yeah. Um, up next, we have Charlotte and Asuka. They meet face to face. Yeah. Charlotte yeah. comes out first, and then Asuka comes out. Oh, well, she says that, uh, she, she, when Asuka came out, she knew it was going to happen at Fastlane, obviously. Mm. Um, and she was excited for the challenge. Yep. Um, I, I don't know about you, but you know, this feels like a really big match. This oh, is... absolutely. This is probably going to be like, or I should say this was the best possible match for, um, this this feels like a wrestlemania match yeah yeah that's because i don't th- obviously i don't think oscar versus alexa bliss would have been much not really they've already gone to the charlotte versus becky charlotte versus sasha mm-hmm. charlotte versus bailey yeah everybody on the smackdown roster yeah so this is the, old, the this is the freshest and most or the biggest feeling mm-hmm. match they yeah. could have done so you have now the streak versus the title mm-hmm that's what they're going with. Yeah. Um, um, probably Asuka's going to get the victory, like yeah, he most said. likely. But if anybody was to break the streak, it, it would be it Charlotte. probably would be Charlotte yeah. on, you know, a regular roster member. Otherwise, we could see Rousey doing it down the line if yeah. if that's the route they go with it. Yeah, definitely possible. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. And at this point, we just hear Randy Orton's music, and he yeah, comes down. It was weird. I was like, oh, the women are getting RKOs tonight. <laughs> I was going to say, they did that interrupting thing again. Yeah. Weird. Um, but, yeah, Orton comes out, and he says that he's proud to be a Grand Slam champion mm-hmm. after winning the U.S. title at, at Fastlane. Yep. Um, and, uh, you know, that's it. Rude comes out, and uh, he says uh, his rematch will be at WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yeah, you know, mm-hmm. that's the thing. Yeah. yeah. So we're going <laughs> to... Well... That's got pre-show written all over uh, it, if it wasn't for Randy Orton. Yeah, it's true, because I don't think they'd put him on the pre-show. Probably not. That man wants his royalties. No. Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's really that he wants them so much as that they're just going to give them yeah, to him. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, and then uh, Jinder comes out mm-hmm. and says... Uh, <laughs> this was very strange, but he, he, he says that... Uh, you might have won the U.S. title, but Bobby Roode won it before you. It's like, all right, well, you know, you Randy know. Orton's won the WWE Championship many times over. Times or something like that. So the fact that he didn't win a secondary belt, even yeah. though he won the other secondary belt a mm-hmm. long time ago. So dumb. Yep. Oh, gender and your nonsensical points. Ah, uh, they got to give him something. I guess that's true. Yeah. So we we need some fuel, and we just can't think of anything. We so. need you to say something that has nothing to do with the uh, difference in ethnicity or something like that. Yeah, yeah I guess at least they're not doing that <laughs> that's anymore. That's true. Um, oh, jeez. So, uh, so uh, Mahal versus Bobby Roode. Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, that was nice. Um, so, yeah, that happened. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a bad match for what it was. <laughs> um, the Singh brother whatever his name is he Samir. jumps up on the uh Samir. jumps up on the uh apron mm. trying to distract rude who's on the top rope uh rude kicks him off and then ginger jumps into the ropes knocks by rude off mm. falls off hits him with a coloss and, and that's, uh, that. that's how the match ends yep and then after the match orton hits ginger with an rko not a surprise no 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 yeah yep and then owens is interviewed backstage and he says shane 
is the one to blame for mm-hmm. everything. Of course. But she is right. It's true. Mm-hmm. Shane is the root of all evil. Yeah. So did they make or say anything about why Daniel Bryan wasn't there? No. No. Gotcha. I just said Daniel Bryan's not here. If that's it? Yep. Yeah. Um, I have something to point out during the main event segment, too. Okay. Something that was I was sleeping dumb. during this. Okay. I uh, the only th- I woke up when uh, I heard that I'm taking a leave of absence. Okay, <laughs> that got my attention. So, <laughs> all right, so up next we have Naomi versus Carmella. Yeah, um, it was it was better than the tag team match that happened at Fastlane at the very least. Um, so Naomi went for a move off of like bouncing off the the middle rope, yeah. but she like slipped. And, and did Carmella kick her? No, she, no, she, she just slipped. Uh, I, I, I think it was meant to look like Carmella did something. I to gotcha. her, but I think she just slipped. I was half paying uh, attention. Carmella rolled her up, and uh, she, uh, she got the win. Well, so, I think you're right. What the Carmella's going to cash in? They're building her up. So, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Definitely seems that way. Yeah. yeah. Um. So. Uh, so yeah. Yeah. And this is when I got an app. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> Shane comes out. Obviously, nothing very exciting about mm-hmm. this. The entire night, they're building up a uh, a special WrestleMania announcement by Shane McMahon. Um, so he comes out. We knew that was going to main event the show. Yeah. So he says, Daniel Bryan will not be here next week. The oh, crowd starts booing. And he's <clears> like, <throat> confused. He's like, I thought you guys liked that guy. So he goes... <laughs> as if he doesn't understand that he said he will not be there right so i'm thinking why would he say that and then get that re- and and then not react that yeah. way <laughs> so apparently what he was supposed to say is that Jinny O'Brien will be back <laughs> and that he'll be going at it alone because he's taking a leave of absence um so on the surface I thought he was going to say, I'm taking a leave of absence as a commissioner and coming back as a competitor. That's because that, that's what they're doing. That's yeah, what yeah, they're yeah, going yeah. to do. I was hoping that this was them washing their hands. Of the whole thing. And they're like, okay, Shane obviously is the problem. Let's get him <laughs> off TV and have him do this one last thing. But mm-hmm. obviously the way the things turned out no. will not be the case. Nope. Um, so basically he says that he's stepping down from his commissioner mm-hmm. duties. Yep. Um, but he wants to do one last thing, right? Yes. So and he then... makes the match between Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn at WrestleMania. Yep. Um, and then the two of them both come out. Yep. Not together. It was like one nope. after another. Nope. Not going to happen. Um, <laughs> not so, happening this way, buddy. Yeah. So they're like, why are you making a match in be- between the two of us? Like, we didn't. We don't. This isn't about us. It's yeah. about you, buddy. Yeah. So, um, and then they just attack him. Mm-hmm. Um, he, Shane gets a haluva kick, yeah. Um, and then a pop-up power, power bomb. bomb. Yep. The refs come out to stop him. Mm-hmm. Refs get thrown out of the <laughs> ring. Yeah, he took a good spill. Um, that's a fine. That's another fine. I would be surprised if they get suspended. That's true. Um, and they just given, don't aren't on TV next given week. Given nights off, I to really would Roman. I really wouldn't be surprised though if the two of Probably them aren't not. on SmackDown next week. Yeah, it's um, gonna, gonna be tough to fill. They did fill three segments tonight, technically. Yeah, that's true. Um, they grab a chair, they put head, uh, Shane's head in it, mm-hmm. slam into the ring post yep. from the outside, um, and then they drag him by his hands <laughs> through the back, and then power bomb him onto, it looked like a scissor lift? Yeah, it was something like that. Because it looked like a scissor lift that didn't that have, like, a, yeah, yeah, it was weird. Um, but yeah, that's how the show ended. Yeah. They're well, beating up Shane on gasping for air. And yeah, <laughs> it was very weird the way he was. Well, sounding. he wasn't coughing or anything after it happened it wasn't until he yeah. got power bomb that yeah. he started reacting to it yeah yeah so so that that was that yeah yeah obviously it's going to lead to some kind of match yeah. maybe a tag match where shane gets a, a teammate yeah. um or we're right and this is just them writing him off because he's recovering from injury yeah and then they have the match anyway That'd i don't okay. know and then shane comes back like I don't know months from now and SummerSlam, they come up with something again that's a good question um the trouble threat did make the most sense going into it yeah but, but now it doesn't yeah so um 
but whatever. Yeah. I was going to say something. I don't remember what I was going to say, though, about this. I thought, you know, whatever. It's not important. Is it? No, probably not. No? Um, but, uh, yeah. but yeah, next week we'll be getting Daniel Bryan back. Yeah. And uh, Shane will probably be there, too. <laughs> Even though he He'll said just he be back in Gorilla. To. Yeah. Um, um, which is funny because they went through Gorilla again, but we didn't watch. Get, but, yeah, get but this. it's funny because sometimes sometimes they go mm-hmm. through, but other times they, they go, don't. Yeah. It's like they like to unveil the curtain sometimes, but not all, not the, time. all the time. It's yeah. only when they feel like it. <laughs> you can get a show now, not this time. Yeah. So, which is strange. Yep. But whatever. And then we had the mixed match challenge afterward. Yes, um, Bobby Roode and Charlotte Flair versus Rusev and Lana. This was good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, they made Lana look pretty good, actually. Um, yeah. <laughs> so the the match starts with Lana against Charlotte, and Lana actually was kind of holding her own. Um, I think Charlotte actually has to tag Bobby Roode in. I think that was what, yeah. Um, so him and him and Rusev fight for a while. At some point, Charlotte, I guess Rusev had knocked by Rude out of the ring. Mm-hmm. Charlotte, Charlotte's on the uh, in the ring with Rusev. Yep. And she tries chopping, chopping him, him over and over times, again. And he's just sitting there, standing he's there like, laughing. This doesn't hurt. Does <laughs> it hurt you? <laughs> yeah, because Charlotte was selling the hand. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you see Bobby Roode behind Rusev with his big smile on his face. Yeah. And then Rusev turns around, gets hit with a glorious DDT, yeah. that and a, that was that. That was a good way to end. Yeah, end yeah, no, match. no, absolutely. Because it, it didn't make Rusev look bad or anything. Mm-hmm. So, because I honestly figured that Lana would get pinned. Yeah. But this this was probably the better way to do it. Um, so, it, um, Bobby Roode and Charlotte will go on to face the, the uh, I guess, the fan vote. The voting, yeah. To come back in. Very well could be him again. There's a possibility of that, and I think the other one may be Goldust and Mandy Rose. There was a lot of oh, uh, really? a lot of people talking about. I'm them. okay with yeah. that. that. Yeah, no, that they were fantastic good, together. It was a good team. Yeah, um, and then they'll face the winner of um, Alexa Bliss and Braun Strowman versus Miz and Asuka. Yeah, unfortunately, Alexa Bliss and Braun have to lose. I don't know how, but they're gonna lose. Yeah, <laughs> but somehow, some wh- way, whatever. Um, and then we got Cedric Alexander. Moving on to the finals at yeah. WrestleMania. Um, th- they also are kind of getting the fans ready for the Cruiserweight Tag Team mm-hmm. division. Because yeah. they, they paired um, Tozawa Lince, and... Uh, Hideo yes. versus Lindsay and uh, Grand, Grand Metal League. Yeah. Did you notice something? Or you said you fell asleep during the um, I was, watch No, I was match? watching this match. I... Did you notice something? The way the match ended? With... Atami. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no more go to sleep. To yeah, go to sleep yeah, 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 I did see that. He's broken too many faces. <laughs> yeah. So, but whatever. Don't worry, the buckle bomb's still allowed. He didn't use it for a very long time. I know, yeah. That's so, true. And the stomp's back, too. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> well, I think the stomp was more of the name and yeah. the uh, the nature of it. Yeah, rather the than aggressive anything. nature of the sound yeah. of the yep. name of the move. Yeah. But, um, uh, all but all, yeah. It was a decent week of wrestling. Oh, yeah. It was pretty good. We haven't watched NXT yet. But... Yeah. Uh, was it uh, main event? Um, Pete Dunne versus Adam Cole, right? I think. I didn't know that, but I also didn't look. I think that's what it is. But that would be is. a good match. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with uh, going a little back to the 205, mm-hmm. um, so next week it's going to be uh, Gulak versus Ali. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to get Ali versus Cedric at a... We haven't seen that match, though. I could have swore that happened I already. I don't think it has. No, it it, it happened uh, like a month or two Did ago. It? Yeah, and you said it was a really good match. Okay, maybe. Yeah. Um, which is the best match that they could currently put on, right, I think. Yeah. Um, but the the two men meeting at WrestleMania will be 205 Live um, full-time roster members anyway. Yeah, it's true. So, I mean, I... It makes the most sense. Yeah. And um, Cedric got screwed over and over. So, Although I think that the way that they did it and his reaction to winning mm-hmm. last night was really like kind of made it feel more important. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So, and this, this is a lot better having it go down like this than him beating Enzo at the Royal Rumble like it was originally supposed to be. So I, I think that... Yeah. The, 
it, well, it wasn't the intended path. It obviously worked out no, better for everybody. No, it gave them a whole rewrite on the show and everything. You know, sometimes things do work out. Yeah, it's true. So, uh, so it might have taken a little longer, but he's gonna get his WrestleMania yeah. moment, yeah. and uh, and you know, I got nothing but positive things to say about the Drake Maverick character as well. He's but, been, yeah, he's very um passionate. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it, it, he was out on commentary during the Gallagher and No Name Talent match, right? Oh, so that's what that yeah. was funny. <laughs> there was a there was like um like a video package going on mm -hmm. so i'm like i'm gonna go watch something else while this goes on <laughs> and then i completely forget it. that i was watching 205 <laughs> live i switch back over uh, and like, then there's another video package going on I'm like the is there did they play another one <laughs> and then it then it went into the uh the, the strong and the centric yeah, match yeah. so i'm like i guess i didn't miss anything yeah but if i missed gallagher and some no yeah, yeah I, I, I don't remember his name i didn't actually miss anything no, so. no 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 no. but yeah yeah that was the week in review yes so if you like what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye